Hi, today I'd like to talk to you about change or more specifically fear of changing. I think the reason why many of us stay in jobs that are no longer good for us is because we're afraid of change. And that was certainly my case. I had been a lawyer for 17 years and the last seven of those was as a legislative drafter. And before I was made redundant, I was sort of thinking about, oh gosh, you know, maybe I don't want to do this anymore. Maybe I want to do something else. But I was afraid. I thought, gosh, you know, I've spent all these years specialising in drafting legislation and I haven't used any of my other legal skills and, you know, maybe, maybe I'm over specialised and maybe I couldn't do um, another type of legal job. <clears throat> but then when I was made redundant, that went up a level and I thought, gosh, well, maybe this is a chance to change careers altogether. And that absolutely terrified me. So I want to tell you three things that I did, which helped me through that change. So number one, knowing that change is okay. I don't know about you, <clears throat> but I always thought that when you go to uni and you train to do something, you know, particularly something like law, you know, I spent seven years getting a combined commerce law degree. That would be it. That would be what I would do for the rest of my life. I would be a lawyer. Also to compound that, my parents uh, were public servants in the early seventies and they used to say to me, oh gosh, you know, you need to, you need to stay in the public service. You know, once you get into government, it's a job for life. Ha ha. Little did they know how unstable things would become. And, you know, same in the, in the private sector. I guess it's, things are so much more unstable than they used to be. <clears throat> and I think it's also more normal for people to change careers more often than they used to. In fact, I once heard someone say if someone was in a job for more than two years, they were stale and it was time to move on, which I think is a little bit extreme. Anyway, I heard someone yesterday describe career rather than being a single mountain that you climb and you get to the top and that's where you stay. It's almost like a mountain range. You climb one mountain, then you go down, then you climb another one, then you climb another one. So yeah, know that career change is okay. And that took, me, took a lot of work on my part to get to that point. Number two is know yourself really well. I think the reason why I was initially so afraid to move out of legislative drafting and, and then more so to move out of law was that I didn't really realise what I had, what skills I had, what strengths I had. So I used a, a really good tool called CareerStorm Navigator, which, which I'm now licensed to use. And uh, that tool is a really good tool for taking an inventory of work-related skills, work-related strengths, values, the type of environment you work best in, and your goals. And you come out with a really good picture who you are and what you have to offer and what transferable skills you actually really do have. I realised that over my years as, as a lawyer, I had learnt to problem solve, I had learnt to research, I had learnt to write and these were all transferable skills. I'd also learnt how to relate with people or relate, yes, relate with people. Um, so these were all transferable skills that I'd just taken for granted. I'd learnt that my values, one of the, the top, top values of mine is to feel appreciated at work. And in fact, when I walked into legislative drafting, at the beginning of that, those seven years, I actually said to my um, supervisor, look, as soon as I stop feeling valued, I'm going to leave. So yeah, getting to know my values was, was very important. And, and my strengths, the, the, the gifts that I had, the things that I was particularly good at. And so, yeah, get to know yourself 
really well. Use a tool, use you know, use tools like Career Storm Navigator or Clifton Strengths Finder or you know whatever tool you you like or or you just just do it on your own. Number three, and I think this is the most crucial one: discover your purpose. I passionately believe that we're all created for a purpose, and that's that thing that we were we were created to do. And if we discover that purpose and live it out, we can take courageous steps to reach our full potential and, you know, really do what that thing that we've been created to do. And I'm not contradicting myself here by saying, you know, it's you, you choose one thing and you do it, but purpose can be a, a broad thing. Um, it can be, for example, uh, one of my clients has discovered that her purpose is to care and protect. Um, and that could be exercised in many different ways, in security, in policing, in, in you know, even uh, the medical profession, you know, that, that could be exercised in, in many different places or lived out in many different ways. <clears throat> but once you discover your purpose, you discover the thing you're created to do, and then you can kind of narrow down um, those, the sorts of career choices that you can make. Unfortunately, I didn't discover my purpose until long after I had left the law, but that's another story. So just to summarise the three things I suggest, if you're thinking about changing your job or changing your career and it, it scares the pants off you, <laughs> um, change is okay. In fact, it's normal these days. Secondly, get to know yourself really well. And thirdly, discover your purpose. And I promise you, you'll be just fine.